Hello, Leo. This is your mid-July 2018 reading. It's a five-card uh, spread. I wanted to get this out. I know we're going to have a busy month, Leos. We got Mercury in retrograde going in your sign. We got Venus just about ready to go out of your sign. So you may have some people from the past try to contact you, or you may still. They'll be going on for about a month, but I'm going to get this reading out right quick because I know people are waiting for it. This is for Leo. July, mid-July, 2018. Five card spread for Leo. Mid-July, 2018. Leo. This will not resonate with all Leos. I hope and get a lot of you. I do meditate on these cards prior. Concentrate on Leo. Ask my guides to help me. So we got here. Hangman in reverse. You're no longer wanting to hang around, wait around, be stuck. Past. Moon card. Now with me, this is just basically me. I don't like the moon card. It's deceptions, dishonesty. But other people say it's about intuition and manifestation. You can use the moon card to your advantage. It all depends on the person, but with me, I never did like the moon card. I'm a little prejudiced against it. The moon card. Why are you in the past for Leo? Why are you in the past for Leo? Worry, worry, worry. It's in reverse. Something maybe had you worried. Not as much no more. It could be over deception. The Five of Pentacles, it's in reverse. Someone feeling abandoned or trying to come out of abandonment, maybe from a deception. I need another card for the Moon card. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse for Leo, mid-July 2018. Could have you turned around. This could be your energy. It's a Princess of Wands in reverse. Could be also a Sagittarius, could be an Aries, but I'm going to call it your card because it's your energy. It is a fire energy. Princess of Wands, when it's in reverse, is someone who's not really happy. Especially, I can understand that with the Five of Pentacles there, and it's attached to the Five of Pentacles. I see two negative cards, that basic moon card, when they're all together, I see the person more worried and really put out, and that's why they're in reverse. A deception occurred, whether you did it or somebody did it to you, it, it occurred. I need, need to see what your obstacles are, Leo. In uh, mid-July, obstacles for Leo. Magician. It's in the upright. The obstacle is you're having trouble manifesting something. Or someone's having trouble manifesting something with you. Ooh, we got something here. I'm going to put these out because I feel the energy is there. You got the Empress. You got the two, uh, two of Cups. You got the Devil in reverse. So you're having trouble manifesting growth, maybe with a love partner or a partnership. And you want to become an out of, you want to come out of feeling chained because the Devil is in reverse. When a Devil is reverse, is someone wanting to feel unchained, want to come out of feeling chained. And the reason why I said that is because you got two positive cards, actually three positive cards with that. But the obstacle is you feel that you can't for some reason, or you're attempting to, you're trying to manifest, manifest it, and, and it's, coming dif it's becoming very difficult to do. But we can see all these. Now the current environment for mid-July, what's going to happen in mid-July? They call it the current environment. It could be what's going on right now, too. But I'm thinking you had a deception. You're worried. It's got you turned around. Not happy. And you're trying to manifest something in your life. That could be the moon card this time. Maybe you are trying to manifest something. Because something is not going completely right in your life. Current environment. Leo. Mid-July. Leo. 2018. Leo. Could have to do with this Prince of Disc. He's in the upright. 
when this person's upright, they're sound, stable, know what they're doing, people like them, they come across as responsible. Now, whether it's someone in your life you know or someone that's that the situation, maybe someone is there, they're in the upright. Maybe they're trying to help you out some way. Or maybe they're just someone who's just around you that's more, I don't know. I don't like to say controlling because that is the wrong word for the Prince of Disc in the upright. But I see someone who's got their stuff together in their life the way they like it. Prince of Disc, why are you there for Leo? Why are you there for Leo? Could be someone that's going to help you make a choice, a decision. Could help you financially, too. It's a Jupiter card. This person, I don't know, you may want to listen to them. I know some of you may not want to listen to this person. I don't know why I'm feeling that. But they're going to give you some sound advice of options in your life that you may want to take. This person really knows how to juggle things around and make things work. I need another, th another card for the Prince of Disc. We can be involved with their help on you with. This is Prince of Swords in reverse. This could be an air sign or someone taking on that energy of an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in reverse, so they're maybe trying to help you with this situation with the Prince of Swords in reverse. Let's find out what's coming towards Leo, mid-July 2018. Leo, mid-July 2018, Leo. Someone made a seven of swords, what is coming towards you. It could be what other people are thinking about you. It's an outside environment. It is the seven of swords, friends, families, associates. Seven of swords is someone uh, doing something under the radar. Some people call it sneaky behavior, trying to get by with something. Um, and some other spreads, you'll see somebody that's like, holding on to a couple of swords and they're trying to sneak off with it. So it could be that somebody is trying to be a little bit sneaky or someone's just not telling you everything. You don't have, you know, sometimes people just don't like to tell everything in their lives. It could be that they feel this towards you, that you're doing this. But it is coming towards you. And uh, you may not... They say you may not see it, but I think people see this Seven of Swords. They do see this behavior. You will see it. It could be also that someone may be looking onto your social media accounts and not letting you know. So look at your fine friends in social media. I don't know why I'm saying that either. Because a lot of times they'll show up with someone you not recognize and all of a sudden they're on your fine friends list a lot. And they could be, you know, using someone else's... Uh, Another profile. I don't know why I'm saying that. Seven of Swords. Why are you there? Seven of Swords. Why are you there? It may be. It could have something to do with work. This could be at work for some of you. It could also be more than one person involved. Because it is the Three of Pentacles. It is in the upright. So for some of you, it could be at work. Someone's flying under the radar not telling you anything or everything. It could be someone from work looking at your social media account. It could be also family settings. And it could have something to do with money on some of you. Let me get another card for the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. There's a three again. It's a th uh, card that's displaying three of a kind. Three of wands. Three of wands is someone maybe want to offer you something coming in, but they don't, they don't know how to tell you. It could be somebody trying to leave a situation and they don't want to tell you. Because it's the Three of Wands is about things coming in or something leaving that, that someone wants. So it could be that you're wanting this, them to leave you alone or not do this, but they're coming in anyway. And they want it. Because it is an outside environment. I'm calling this someone from the outside wanting something to come in. Something to work out. But they're kind of coming across 
not very open about it. And I do remember we had this moon card. Hmm, interesting. Final outcome, Leo. Final outcome, Leo. You may walk away from the situation. You got the Eight of Cups, or someone's going to walk away from you in this situation from possibly a uh, deceptive, underlying, underhanded behavior that may or should not have occurred, which has got some people turned around, like I said. You do have one good card there of the Prince of This, so if this person gives you good advice, you may want to listen to it because they are in the upright. I feel that they are trustworthy in some of you, but the Prince of Disc or the Prince of Swords, it's in reverse, may not be exactly happy about the situation in, in the current environment. Eight of Cups, so why are you walking away or somebody walking away from a certain situation? It's not, I don't see the death card here, so I can't say it's permanent. I just think maybe I'm not going to deal with this right now. I may walk away right now. Eight of Cups, why are you there? Now, if the death card comes up, then we'll know it could be a permanent situation. Eight of Cups, we do have an eclipse coming up. You're no longer wanting to deal in the cruelty of the whole situation. This is the Nine of Swords in reverse, wanting to come out of cruelty and a nightmare situation. So you may walk away. Eight of Cups, again, why are you there? Could have to do with a water sign. Prince of Cup, Princess of Cups, they're in reverse. You may be walking away from it. someone that has a little bit of water energy or just kind of emotional right now. They're in reverse, or it could be someone walking away from you, like I said. They're not wanting to go into cruelty. Can I get another card? One more card for the Eight of Cups. This just tells me that you're definitely not wanting something, or vice versa, from some, someone else not wanting it from you. Yeah, but they're not going to hold back. They're, they're going to let you know something. You're going to find out a sneaky behavior, underhanded behavior, or someone may find out about, you know, like I said, this could be vice versa. You do have that, like I said, Prince of Cups or Prince of Disc in the upright, and they're pretty good at what they, advice they have to offer. Please listen to it. Three of Cups, it's in reverse. The, um, overall ending energy is not wanting to uh, celebrate with any individual right now or whatever is occurring with this. You're not willing to... Uh, Hang out, celebrate, talk it over at dinner. So I see this going on in mid-July and further on, a little bit, maybe August, end of August. So I'm seeing just a little bit of upheaval over someone's not, someone finds out about a deceptive behavior or something that happened that they didn't know about. That's a better word, better expression or description of what I want to say that you just weren't happy with what you found out and maybe they just were afraid to tell you and it did find out. And I'm also seeing some of you trying to manifest something and it's not working for you and you may walk away from it. But basically, like I said, pay attention to that Prince of Dis and the, the advice. And that is your reading, Leo. And I will talk to you probably before August. Talk to you later. Bye.